got your paper or plastic bag, right? And once your groceries are out of there, you're going to want to take and hold by the handle, come down here at the very bottom, and just give it a nice little tug because you want to get that, uh, the, the part that usually pokes out, you want to get that part right back the way it was, probably when it was brand new. So here that, here's that sticking up. I just give it a nice little tug and bring my hands like this. Now, technically, you could keep it like this with the, the um, handles the way you grab them. But I find, because it's important to make sure that this is as straight as you can get it and back in order, if you go ahead and get your handles um, straightened out as well, it will hold the plastic back down in there pretty, uh, pretty well. So I just go ahead and I take the time to, to straighten out the handles as well. And it's not, it's not very difficult. And one of the things that I want to stress to you is that this process doesn't have to be an exact. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just has to be close enough. And so what I want to do right now is move on to the next phase. After you've straightened the bag out, what we do to start that process of making the plarn. So hang in there, I'll be right back. So now you have your plastic bag. It's all straightened out. And you're gonna need a pair of scissors right? Put those to the side really quick. And what you're going to do, you're going to lay it straight out. It doesn't matter what side it's on, it really doesn't. So whatever's convenient for you. You're going to fold it over in half, right? And then you're going to fold it over one more time over to the edge. Now I'm showing you the way that I do it because I find that it's the most, uh, I get a, a more accurate cut when I do it this way, but um, this is the way. If you want to use one bag, two bags, I've done it with two bags. Uh, you just have to be careful that the plastic doesn't slip around when you start to cut. Uh, at this point though, there's a little seam that closes the bottom of the bag. So you want to get as close as you can to that seam uh, to cut it off because you don't want to use up too much of the bag and put that to the side. And then you want to come right down here to where the handles are. Come down about a half an inch, I guess. Uh, not even that much. Well, maybe. I'm never good with inches and stuff. And you want to cut that off and put it to the side. Those you don't need any longer. And then what I like to do is turn the bag over because if it's not exactly um, straight to the edge there with all of the pieces, that's okay. It really truly is. But what you want to do also is you want to take it and get it as straight as you can when you fold it over one more time and that's when you cut your strips. Now what I like to do is cut about an inch. You're going to cut inches of uh, the pieces of bag off. I'm sure I could have said that much better, <laughs> but I think you get the idea. And again, this is an approximation. You want it about an, uh, an inch, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's an inch and a half and Ooh, if it's two inches, that's okay too. All right, so then you just keep cutting until you have this cut up into these strips. Boom. Now these are ready to be turned into the plarn to connect them to get them ready to uh, twist up into a, a ball. So next phase, and I'll see you in a sec. You have your little strips that you just cut. If you undo those strips, you'll see that you now have these little circles, right? All right. You see, it's not, 
It's not perfect. My cut got a little wavy, but that's okay. That is truly okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we now start connecting them. So you want, you're going to take one of the loops, right? And you're going to hold it right up to here. I like to hold it right to there so that it makes a little, a little hole there for me. And then I'm going to take the other strip and I'm going to bring in a little loop. Now when I do that, I turn like this and I kind of I kind of cinch up on it, right, so that it keeps it really close. And then I open up the, the loop that I just stuck through the first one. And then I take the bottom, right, and I grab on and I put, holding it as tight as I can because I don't want there to be a pucker when I tie the knot to uh, connect these. But what I do is I then bring that loop through, right? And then I pick up that loop. You still want to hold this tight right over here. And as you pull that through, just lightly tug on it, and it makes a knot just like that. Now you have this connected piece of plarn. Let's do one more so that we can show you again. Now you see how it's uh, how I'm holding it and it started to pucker here. It's always really important to make sure that it's pretty tight. And I hold just once I've tightened it down I hold it up here just enough to make my loop and then it keeps this straight. So maybe for video's sake I should have already done this but there you go it's pretty easy. So then I'm taking the new piece and I'm going to put it through that loop. I'm just going to put it right through that loop and pick it up again, right? And then remember I'm going to cinch down just to where it holds on. I give this another little tug just to make sure it's staying straight. And then I pick up the bottom of the new piece and I put it through the top of that new piece. And before you start pulling really hard, what I like to do is bring all of that in so that the knot's really close and all you have to do is then pull about that tight. Now, there you go. It makes a nice little, it makes a nice little uh, knot there. And that's how it works. All of the pieces that you've cut are now going, are now becoming ready. Here is another option to that step. As I began to work with it more and more, I found that this moved a little more quickly for me and made it uh, a little more foolproof. But you still have to be careful when you're working on pulling that knot tight because if you pull too tight, the plastic can become weak and break. So it's very important to cinch right there and hold that tight while you're pulling the other plastic through. So there you go. Here are the ways that you can help. If you want to, you can send me your crumpled up bag and I will be grateful. If you want to go another step further and you want to straighten it out and send it to me, I will be grateful. And if you want to go even further and cut it up, and make these little strips for me. I will be ever so grateful. And if you want to unfold those pieces and just send me a bunch of loops like this, I will be grateful. And if you're feeling very adventurous and you want to tie the pieces together to start the links of Plarn, I will be grateful for that too. So I will be in much gratitude for any level of help that you want to contribute to this project of mine. And if you know of anybody else and pass that along, if it's not something that you feel led to do, that's okay. Everybody's got their own little mission and I just wanted to give you the opportunity to get in on mine because it takes so much to 
to get it ready to be crocheted. Um, <clears throat> it's okay. Whatever, however, and if not, and you can, you don't want to do any of that. And all you want to do is send good vibes. I will take that too and be, again, as I love to use this word, I will be very grateful. So thank you for taking time to hear about my new mission. And if you're interested in any way, just private message me on Facebook and we will get a dialogue started. And again, from my heart, thank you for taking the time out and thank you for your consideration. Bless you. And um, yeah, thank you so, so very much. Mm -hmm.